We had a number of things happen yesterday that we can learn from. The first was that uh, Live and Go was purchased by Teladoc. And we saw some erratic movements in the stock. We saw uh, Live and Go go down about 9% and Teladoc go down about 11%. Why did this happen? Well, it happened because of panic. There are a lot of amateur investors in the market who didn't know what this meant. They had never experienced it because they bought these two stocks on any number of smaller, newer, Robin Hood type brokerages, and they didn't know what was happening. They had, in both stocks, had had good run-ups, had profits, and at that point, their roommate in their head started saying, take your profits, get out. I don't know what's going to happen. Get out. You don't, you're not smart enough to do this. And so the first one sold, and that brought the price down a little, and then the second one sold, and then the third one sold, and then the fourth one sold, and now we're talking thousands, and the algorithms saw it um, and jumped in and took them on down further. And that even made more amateur investors panic. And that's why the two stocks were down between 8 and 11% yesterday. This is something you need to, to be aware of. The market reacts to fear. And then as the fear is noticed by the algorithms and the quantum computers, they jump in and they feed on it. They are feeding on your fear. The other thing that I think you need to learn is I was criticized by a number of people because I introduced you in many cases to Live and Go early on when I bought it. When I saw that it was a company founded by a gentleman whose son had diabetes and he created a uh, apparatus that could read the um, sugar levels, I guess it is, in, in the boy, and then feed it through technology to an analyst and come back and give a diagnosis on the spot. Um, and everybody thought, wow, this man's going to do wonderful things with this. And then he developed other um apparatus who did other things for chronic diseases. Okay, so I sold it when one of you in the tribe, a doctor, said, this is wonderful, but it's duplicatable. And anytime Apple or Google want to duplicate it, they will. And that's why I got out. Uh, I got out with, a, I believe, about a 25% profit. And some of you took it on up to an 80% profit. And good for you. But then why, if this man was so committed to this, why did he sell it? He sold it for the same reason I did. He knew it could be dupl duplicated. If you're a small fish in the ocean, there is only one way to avoid being eaten by a bigger fish, and that is to become bigger than the bigger fish can swallow. That is to gather together with some other fish and somehow get bigger. And that's what Teladoc and, and Live and Go are trying to do. The other thing they have to do and Warren Buffett uses this phra phraseology quite often, is they have to build a moat around themselves. And that is to say that they have such a control of the data that is necessary to make this company function in the future that no one else can gather that data at an economic cost so that they can take them over. Uh, or duplicate them. This is evidenced in Pinterest, which we talked about yesterday. Pinterest has millions of photographs that you and, and I have submitted to them over the last 10, 
15 years, that it would take a long time to duplicate. Zillow has a lot of photographs and a lot of buy and sell data that it would take a long time and a lot of money for anybody to duplicate. So they have built a moat around themselves so that if someone says, wow, that's an excellent business to get into. We need to get into real estate or we need to get into these devices that detect chronic illnesses. Wait a second. There's an awful lot of work that we're going to have to do up front to prepare ourselves to get into that business. Or we could go buy somebody who has done most of the work, who has most of the data, and we can create efficiencies and marketing knowledge that will take it on further. So they become not uneatable, or they do become uneatable, but they become viable. I got some comments well, about my Zillow video, are you telling us to buy Zillow? No, I'm not. I, I don't. First of all, Zillow's earnings will come out to, today, and I think they're going to be terrible I, because they, had, they have gotten into beyond the advertising business of selling leads to realtors. They've gotten into the flip business where they're coming and buying the baby boomer's house, uh, for a price. They're then investing money into it to update it and make it more attractive, and then they're selling it. So they have a huge inventory of homes that they're sitting on until they get this system up and running, and they were on that way, and then the pandemic came along, and they cut, they stopped all of their buying, and now are just getting back into the buying. So am I saying buy Zillow? No, I am not. Unless it goes back down to 22, I am saying be aware that Zillow is a target to be bought. It will be bought, I think, by Amazon because Amazon has shown an interest in getting into the real estate business. Amazon has shown an interest in getting into the insurance business. Well, what better time to sell someone who is moving from Paducah, Kentucky to Birmingham, Alabama, their property and casualty insurance, their automobile insurance, their umbrella insurance, maybe even examine their life insurance and their long-term care insurance. What better time to do that when they, than when they are going through a total life change? What time, better time to introduce them to a financial advisor than when they're going through a total life change? change. Maybe they just had children, they're moving to a better school district. What better time to sit down with them and say, let's examine your financial life. Now that you've gotten a new home that is a smart home that is connected to 5G, let's look at your total financial picture. Folks, this is where that's going. Do not buy the small fish. The small fish are going to accumulate to a bigger fish where they can't be swallowed, but they're going to be bought up by the big fish, by the buyers. Okay. If you didn't get that message from my last video, that's the message. I experimented something in the last two days with putting out quick hit, uh, Three to 45 seconds was one of them. And this morning I did, I think, about a five-minute video on what's happening today or what's just happened that I saw that I think you need to know. I'm going to experiment with doing more of that because I think we're getting into a market where things are going to happen very, very quickly. Just like uh, Disney reported earnings down 40%. Their cruise ships are closed. Their parks are closed. They can't distribute any movies. And, and, and they lost. And they're, they're down 40, 45% from prior year. And yet the stock went up 
8%. Why was that? Because they also announced that they're going to reduce, re- release two of their movies uh, that were scheduled for the end of this year um, the, o- over, over Disney+. Plus. And they're going to charge you and I $30 per movie in addition to the $9.99 that we're paying on a monthly basis. Well, wait a second. I don't pay $30 to go to a movie. But I, if I do invite my grandkids over and my wife and sits and watches it and there's six of us in there watching it and the popcorn's cheaper in our house than it is at the movie theater and I have every variety of drink, including adult beverages, I just might pay $30 to see Mulan and then come a month later and watch and pay $30 to see Black Widow. Well, what does that do to the movie theater business? I think that makes them a small fish. I think that makes them a target to be bought. So your mind needs to be looking at who are the small fish that are going to be eaten. And if, in fact, you own a small fish and it does get eaten, don't panic. The The value of the whole is much greater than the value of the separate parts. There are equities to be found in bringing two companies together. You eliminate employees. You eliminate uh, structure. You eliminate rent. You you gather strength and uh, leverage by coming together. So don't panic when you see Live and Go being bought by Teladoc. Tell it and don't be surprised if... If, if Apple or Google don't buy the new joining of Live and Go and Teladoc. Probably not for a couple of months or maybe even a year, but it's going to happen. Unless the government steps in and says they can't. So if you want to see more videos like this that, that look into the future, not what happened yesterday and what's going to happen tomorrow, but what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to benefit from it, come over here. First of, first of all, go down there and subscribe. Ring the bell so you get notified when I put out a new video. And then join our tribe. Our tribe is right now, we've just passed 20,000 subscribers. We've actually got somewhere in the neighborhood of 200,000 viewers. But those subscribers are joining bestofusinvestors.com and we're gathering data, we're gathering information as a group and sharing it to make us all smarter in this totally crazy stock market that we're in. But it's showing so much opportunity for those who understand what's happening.